talks in English. There's always uh, uh, some, some guests uh, who are not sure understand Spanish or Portuguese. Um, in any case, uh, there you go, there's one. Uh, so, so the seminars will be, uh, uh, will be uh, uh, in English until uh, South America acquires further uh, dominance. And uh, in the meantime, uh, um, I think, uh, well, in the name of the organizers, we're very excited with the repercussion the seminar has had. So a lot of interest from, uh, from colleagues like yourselves, a lot of interest from speakers. In fact, so much so, uh, we're going to be having, uh, hence, henceforth, weekly seminars alternating between Thursdays and Fridays. Um, up until mid-July, we have seminars confirmed, so please book um, all our seminars. In fact, the next one uh, is already next week, next uh, Thursday, and we're going to be uh, therefore doing uh, every fortnight on, on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, so thank you everyone for, for showing up. It's tremendous interest, and also thanks to all the speakers that have already confirmed. More, more than 10, 10 speakers have already confirmed. Um, and I'm really excited to be to be part of this uh, group of organizers in that sense. Also, I guess the, the, the philosophical question is why haven't we done this before, right? There, there was nothing stopping us from, from doing this, uh, um, and let's, let's make sure that once this uh, horrible uh, situation passes that we keep the seminar going, uh, uh, it's about time that we have spaces of dialogue of the uh, South American geometry community. It's a community that has matured quite a bit uh, over the last maybe 10, 15 years. I believe we have enough critical mass to hold a high-level seminar, and this is the bet here, uh, and hopefully uh, we'll keep the interest high and, uh, and this bet will be confirmed. So let me also thank Paolo Piccione and Jorge Lauret um, as other co-organizers, and above all, uh, Andres Moreno, uh, who has been handling uh, all of the organizing hardcore process. So, um, a great pleasure to introduce to you uh, our colleague, uh, Guillermo Henry, from Buenos Aires University telling us about the uh, Yamada equations and isoparametric foliations. Welcome, Guillermo. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the kind invitation, and hi, everybody, and thank you for, for being there. Uh, okay, um, let me share my screen. Uh, okay. So, uh, are everybody seeing the slides? Uh -huh. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so in this talk, I would like to, uh, to talk about, uh, point out some relationship between the, the Yamaha equation and isoparametric, uh, the theory of, uh, uh, the isoparametric theory, uh, isoparametric function, isoparametric population. So uh, let me uh, call you uh, what is the, the Yamaha equation. So the Yamaha equation is uh, this uh, uh, nonlinear elliptic PDE, where here um, delta G is the Laplace Beltrami operator, EN is a dimensional constant. Um, here SG is going to be the scalar curvature of the Riemannian manifold. Um, here, PM is uh, the critical sublet exponent. So um, this equation, of course, uh, zero is a is a, tri is a trivial solution to this equation. Um, so we are going to have a positive solution or negative solutions to this equation. Um, also, we are going to have uh, See uh, alternative sign solutions. Uh, that is, uh, but uh, we are not going to have uh, solutions, non for instance, non uh, non negative solution, such that the nodal set is not empty. 
Okay, so it's a. Um, so uh, later I will I will define precisely what is an isoparametric function, but we we can see in a. Uh, uh, roughly of isoparametric function, a function that induce the level set induce uh, exfoliation such that the the, the leaves uh, are parallel and has a constant mean curve. For instance, here uh, are uh, uh, such this exfoliation of the Euclidean space actually are uh, are all uh, is uh, this is are all the isoparametric exfoliation of the Euclidean space space that could have uh, no, but hyperplane, but by uh, spheres or by by cylinders. Okay, so um, um, in the sphere, okay, they, they appear as uh, as uh, the level set of, of solution of the Yamaha equation, also in the Euclidean space. So there, for instance, in the sphere, we know that there, there exists a uh, family of solution of the Yamaha equation. Uh, I will want to talk about about them later. That is, uh, this this uh, these bubbles were, were are radial solution of the Yamaha equation, and of course the foliation are uh, are are spheres and minus one dimensional spheres. So it's it's a, it's a foliation of, of this kind. So one of the the goal of the talk is um, one of the, of the talk is discussed. Uh, whether uh, a foliation like, like this one uh, is a level set of uh, a solution of the of the Yamaha equation, no? Uh, and our setting will be closer in many manifolds. Okay. Uh, Germo, uh, I think we have a question. Do you want to take all the questions at the end or as they go by? No, no. Uh, okay, please uh, ask me the question. It's at the chat. Keep your chat open. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> But I have can you have okay so this is a question from Paolo Piccione can you have no negative solutions that are zero at some point uh, no non-negative um, no but still some zeros okay okay yes I I, 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 I would talk uh, not uh, not not in the in, in the close in the close uh, mind and mindful um, hmm. because uh, by the uh, by the minimum principle, because uh, uh, minus this equation is it would be a non-negative solution. So and then you can apply the the positive uh, the maximum principle. But uh, okay. okay, so but um, um, okay, so let me recall uh, some stuff about uh, about the the Yamaha equation. So. Uh, given a Riemannian metric, the conformal class of the metric are the, the set of metrics that share uh, the same notion of angles. That is the, the, the set of conformal uh, deformation, that is of this type. So a natural question that arises is uh, whether there exists or not a, a, a metric of constant scalar cubature in the conformal class. That is uh, the celebrated Yamabe problem. Which is a kind of generalization of what happened in dimension two. That they are by the uniformation theory, we 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 know that there, there is uh, uh, any uh, any Riemannian surfaces is conformal to one with constant scalar curvature. Uh, so in high dimension, uh, a generation a generalization of this problem is is a, a celebrated Yamabe problem. Okay, so what happened? So that is uh, what is important. Uh, the, the, this equation, the geometric meaning of this equation, is that a positive solution of the Yamaha equation and in one-to-one -one relationship with a constant scalar curvature matrix in the conformal class. That is, if we write a metric in the conformal class in this form, which is for some positive SMU with this exponent, uh, with this power, then um, the, the, the metric will have a uh, constant scalar curvature if and um, only if uh, uh, u is a, a positive solution of the Yamaha equation. Okay, um, so that is the meaning of the positive solution of the Yamaha equation. So, from the variational point of view, uh, 
the, 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 the solution of the Yamaha equation appears as a, a critical point of the Yamaha functional or the so-called Yamaha functional, which is this functional, which is not other thing that the uh, total scalar equivalent functional restricted to the conformal class. No, it's well known that this uh, the, the critical point of this functional, the, the total scalar equivalent functional, is uh, the, the Einstein matrix. But uh, the critical point of this functional restricted to the conformal class is going to be the the, cons the constant scalar equivalent matrix. Okay, so, so, so if we write uh, down this uh, the metric again in this form, then the Yamabe functional in the in the function u is going to be the the scalar equivalent of functional in the metric H. So this this uh, functional is bounded in the in the conformal class, or uh, is bounded from below. So we can define this. Uh, uh, conformal invariant, which is the Yamabe constant, which is the infimum of the Yamabe functional, um, yeah, which is bonded, uh, which is a number, and can be seen that is bonded from above by the Yamabe constant in the round sphere. Actually, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, constant, this infimum, is a, is a minimum, so the constant is achieved. Uh, so we, we are going to have at least uh, one critical point of the Yamaha functional. So that's implied that we are going to have, a, and actually we are going to have a solution of the Yamaha equation, and this solution uh, actually is a, a positive solution of the Yamaha equation. So uh, what we have is a solution of the Yamaha problem, that is that in each conformal class, there exists at least uh, one metric with constant scalar cube. You know, that this uh, uh, the solution of the Yamaha problem was due to, to, to Yamabe, Trudinger, Oban, um, was finished by, by Shane in 1984. Okay. So, uh, what is the, the meaning of the Yamabe, of this uh, conformal invariant? So, the, the Yamabe constant determine the sign of the of the scalar curvature in the conformal class. Uh, I, I mean, for instance, if the if the Yamabe constant is, is positive, that that is going to happen if and only if uh, there exists a metric in the conformal class with a positive uh, uh, scalar curvature. So uh, uh, also the same for which is zero or which is one when it is negative. But uh, also if uh, the sign, also the energy level, the sign of the energy level of a positive, of, of, uh, of a positive solution agree with the, with the same of the sign of the, of the Yamaha, of the, of the Yamaha functional evaluate, or the Yamaha concept. That is, the C that appear in the, so for a positive solution, the C that appear in the, in the, in the Yamaha equation have to be the same sign of the Yamaha constant. But that is not uh, true in general for, for instance, for normal solution. Okay. No. So, and uh, in, as we mentioned before, and in the sphere, we have this, uh, this uh, family of solutions, these these uh, these bubbles um, that are uh, actually are positive solution of the Yamaha equation, um, and know that uh, we have uh, infinite solutions and uh, they are bubbling bubbling up. Uh, what point? Um, this solution are actually all the positive solution are of, of this form, in the sphere, and um, are. All of them are minimizer of the Yamaha constant. Uh, okay. So, what about uh, the multiplicity of, of, of positive solution of the Yamaha equation? So, when the when the Yamaha uh, constant is non-negative, non-positive, sorry, uh, then there is uh, at least uh, there is only uh, one positive solution of the Yamaha equation. So, uh, so that means that. Uh, if we consider, for instance, if we consider the space of uh, the, the manifold 
of the metric with uh, with a negative constant scalar curvature of uh, volume one, uh, for instance, then this uh, manifold is going to cut uh, transversally all the uh, conformal classes. So, so, the, 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 uh, so we also have a unicity of the solution when uh, the when the conformal class admit uh, uh, an Einstein matrix. So uh, the data, the Einstein matrix is going to be the 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 only essentially the only positive solution. So, but the situation uh, could be different when uh, when the the Yamabe constant is positive and of course it's not conformal to the sphere and and it's not. Uh, admit an Einstein metric in the conformal class. So let me show you a simple example of, of that. So if you consider uh, the two uh, closed Riemannian uh, manifold with constant scalar curvature and unit volume, and you deform uh, the, the the metric G of the first manifold by this by this constant and the second by this one, and then you consider the Riemannian product. Then the, the scale, okay, we are we obtain a, 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 a manual manifold with constant scalar curvature and unit volume. So if we, you evaluate for for t uh, big enough, so uh, evaluate the, the function u equal to one in the the Yamai functional. This is a, the the scalar curvature, no, this one. So for t big enough, this is going to be bigger than the Yamabe constant in the n plus n-dimensional sphere. So, so for t big enough, uh, uh, the solution, the, the, the function u, uh, one equal to one, constant equal to one, is not going to be a minimizer of the Yamaha, of the Yamaha functional. But we know that there are actually there, there have to be a minimizer. So that implies that there, there is at least two solutions of the Yamaha equation uh, in, in that conformal class. And the, the the product metric is not the minimizer. No, it's not the Yamabe metric. Okay. So only to mention another the multiplicity on asphalt, uh, this uh, one of uh, Pollack in 1993. He proved that given, a, a, given an, in, an, in, an integer k, then uh, the set of conformal classes uh, that have at least uh, K inequivalent uh, uh, constant scalar curvature matrix. It's uh, dense in the space of uh, classes with classes with positive uh, Yamabe constant. Okay, the, there are uh, several answers about multiplicity in this talk. We're, we're going to discuss uh, one of them. Uh, okay, so. But in general, we know that for positive solutions, for 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 lower dimensions, that is uh, for dimension less than twenty-four, the space of positive solution is uh, is is compact. You know? uh, but uh, uh, we lack the compactness property, the compactness of the of the positive solutions for dimension uh, greater than twenty-five. This to to Curry, Marcus, and Shane, and the, the lack of compactness. Or dimension greater than 25 to, to Brenle and uh, Marcus. But in general, what we know that in general, for for if we consider the total space of, of, of solution of the Yamaha equation, then uh, it, it, it's, going, it's, going, it's not going to be uh, compact. No, that's a, a Dean in the 80s, uh, he constructed a family, for instance, in the spheres of nodal solutions that has uh, uh, an infinite family of solutions with higher energy, okay? Um, so, that, so far uh, we talk about uh, about positive solutions, but uh, not that solutions are not related with Riemannian metric, but are related with a singular metric, that is a nodal solution of the MI equation which use uh, a, singular, a singular metric of this form, where here, uh, where the, the singular set is the nodal set, and in the nodal component have a constant uh, scalar curvature. Okay. Uh, so what about uh, some existential result about nodal solutions? So, but first, 
let me, I call, we talk that, uh, we mentioned that the, the tree hole for energy tree hole for, uh, uh, for positive solution is the Yamabe constant, no? But not a solution, uh, they have high energy, uh, that, that positive solution. So that is the tree hole uh, of, uh, of, of, of the energy tree hole for nodal solution is going to be a little bit higher. That is uh, this, you know, two to the power two over n of the Yamabe constant. So uh, here we are going to uh, have the possibility to find uh, nodal solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, um, so some extent consult about nodal solutions. So it's well known that uh, for uh, in the spheres the, there is not. Uh, a radial uh, nodal solutions. Uh, but as uh, we mentioned before, uh, that there exists nodal solution in the sphere of the Yamabe equation. Uh, and this uh, the family was defined by, uh, by Dean in the 80s, uh, where they, uh, they, they, they find a um, family of nodal solutions that are invariant by the action of the, uh, the product of the orthogonal groups. Okay. Also, uh, for instance, to, to, to mention um, another result uh, uh, about the existence of another solution, this one of uh, the Pino, Muso, Bacar, and Pistoia, they're in, in the sphere. Again, they, they, they construct uh, another solutions of this form, Muso, uh, Nuclear, uh, Space, for, for K uh, big, they construct solution uh, with form that is uh, a bubble that is grounded by. Uh, K, uh, by k uh, spikes negative bubbles no here but uh, this is a bubble the, the scaling of uh, i draw it, like are the same bubble but the scaling in each bubble is not the same but uh, also this is for for okay big the, the energy of this solution are uh, are are big no uh, they, they tend to into okay so we are going to discuss in this talk about uh, the subcritical Yamaha equation. That is the the the, 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 the Yamaha equation where the the, the exponent uh, here uh, here you have to I have to erase this minus two one this uh, this anomata this anomata. So that is where um, the, the the exponent uh, this so this is. Uh, you have to write uh, the mother of u to the k minus two times u. Okay, so um, so um, where here the exponent is uh, lower than the critical one. So in that situation, they construct uh, solutions uh, of, uh, with two bubble uh, with a solution and with one bubble. This where you you notice a solution, a positive solution of the MI equation, and this is a negative bubble, uh, but the solution have to be, uh, you know, a, a positive non-degenerate non solution. So for instance, in the spheres, uh, you, you are not going to have a, a solution of this kind, okay? Because all the, all the solutions are degenerate, in the, all the positive solutions, okay? So, but, in the recent year, a lot of people work about in this uh, how, uh, uh, some result about the existence and multiplicity of nodal solutions. Uh, here I, I mentioned some of them, but uh, uh, the list is uh, bigger than, than that. Okay, but I think that the most uh, uh, general result about the existence of uh, nodal solution is uh, due to uh, Amand and Umber. Uh, yeah, and it is one they prove that uh, for when the when the manifold is, uh, is not locally conformed by flat, then for for higher dimension, that is for dimension higher than eleven, you are going to have we are going to have um, nodal solution of the Yamaha equation. That is exactly uh, when dimension is bigger than eleven and the Yamaha constant is positive, or when dimension is greater or equal than nine and the Yamaha constant is uh, is a zero. So, and these this solutions are related uh, with the so-called uh, second Yamabe constant, which is, uh, which is the infimum, the second Yamabe constant, is the infimum of the 
Second eigenvalue of the conformal Laplacian. The conformal Laplacian is the operator that appear, the is, is a linear, is the operator that appear in the, in the linear part of the, of the Yamaha, of the Yamaha equation, that is this one. So if you minimize the second uh, eigenvalue in the conformal class, no, you obtain the, the second uh, over, over the metric of volume one, okay? You obtain the second Yamabe constant. And if uh, this Yamabe constant is achieved, they, then uh, uh, this metric, uh, this singular metric is going to induce uh, a metric you're going to induce a, a, a novel solution of the MI equation. So, uh, so in this situation, in this situation, this uh, this uh, uh, conformal invariant, the second Yamaha constant, is achieved, uh, uh, and so we have another solution. Okay, so uh, so let me I call you um, some uh, some stuff about isoparametric function. So uh, an isoparametric function is uh, in, in our setting will be a uh, closed connected on many manifold. So uh, it's going to be a non-constant smooth function such that there exists uh, uh, some function B and A that they satisfy this both equation. Uh, that means that uh, the square of the gradient of F and, and also the Laplacian as well as the Laplacian is constant along the level set of the function f that we are going to note uh, this space no the, the function that are constant along the level set of a given function by ff by sf so uh, so uh, the function that satisfies this both equation is an isoparametric function um, the level set uh, of, uh, of the uh, the regular level set of an isoparametric function is so going to be, uh, we are going to call the, uh, the isoparametric hypersurface. Okay. So, so we have the, the isoparametric function satisfied two equations. The first one tell us that the regular, uh, the, 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 the normal vector field of, uh, of a regular set, the integral cur curves of the, uh, of the normal vector field of a regular, of a regular level sets uh, are a geodesics of the manifolds. So the leaves are parallel. Also, we can compute the, the mean curvature of the, um, of the level of the regular level set uh, in terms of the function B and A. And so we obtain that also the, the regular level set had constant our CMC hypersurfaces. Okay. Um, Okay, but um, so in uh, in the eighties, one proved some structural result about a general isoparametric hypersurface in the in the Riemannian manifold. He proved that the the only key critical value of an isoparametric function are the global maximum and the global minimum. We are in the compact setting, of course, no. So uh, and this uh, this uh, singular level set are actually uh, manifolds, no. But uh, um, moreover, in some situation, these manifolds are you know, are uh, are minimal manifolds. Uh, also, he proved uh, the structural result that say that uh, so that the the, the isoparametric hypersurface you no know, are tubes uh, of uh, either of the submanifolds. So that's uh, so the manifold that uh, compact manifold that admits. Uh, um, uh, that admit uh, an isoparametric function is it's, a, it's a, the union of two of these bundles. Okay, so uh, an isoparametric function induce you no know, uh, what we are going to call an isoparametric foliation. So the level set of an isoparametric function induce a, a, a foliation that have parallel leaf and, and constant mean curvature leaves. Okay, in the case of um, uh, of the space, in the case uh, of the space form, then uh, the isoparametric uh, uh, isoparametric. Uh, so, are, are you listening to me? Because uh, yeah, 
Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. So <laughs> because I, I can I can see you, so okay. Uh, so in the in the in the space um, uh, in the case of the space form, the isoparametric uh, the isoparametric hypersurfaces, no, the very well set of, of an isoparametric function, uh, have constant uh, principal curvature. No? And the, the, the number of the different principal uh, principal uh, uh, curvature is going to be the degree of the of the hyper or the isoparametric hypersurface or the degree of the isoparametric function. So so it can be seen that uh, so in that situation when the the degree uh, is even so half of the uh, of the principal curvature have uh, some multiplicity and the other half had the the other have another multiplicity, say m2 and m1. But when the degree is odd, then uh, all the principal curvatures have the same multiplicity. Okay, uh, we're going to talk about that later in the case of the sphere. So the simple example is um, the following: uh, in the sphere is a high function, so a high function. Uh, it's a, an isoparametric function. Here, the, the isoparametric uh, hypersurface are n-dimensional uh, minus one spheres. So the degree of the, um, of the, of the function is uh, one. For instance, another example uh, is the following. Uh, so, so that you, you have the, the torus, no? The, you must it in the embedded in the in r3 so uh there we if you consider the the high function so uh, here we're going to have the uh, okay the 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 the, the focal submanifold that is a singular level set are uh, the circles no and also the uh, the, the regular level set at uh, union of circles so here i know that here the the definition is not a singular one um but uh, it's an isoparametric, uh, it's an isoparametric uh, function in the torus. For instance, again, this in the spheres, we can define F in the n-dimensional sphere, Fk in this form. Uh, so uh, here, I, the, the isoparametric hypersurfaces are product of the spheres, no? So, uh, so here, note that the, the, the the level set here cannot be could be not connected, and also could be no this function will be no radial for some uh, for some, uh, could be no radial of course. Um, also, the focal sum manifold could be not connected. No. Um, okay. So. Okay. Let me mention some uh, other results. Uh, so, uh, only to show you that, uh, that, that, that there are different sources where the, this uh, isoparametric function appears, or so these isoparametric relations. So, for instance, if you if you have an isoparametric function and you consider any uh, function, okay, positive smooth function that is constant along the level set of this uh, of this, of this function f, then um, the, the 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 function is going to be so parametric for this Hermannian manifold. Okay. Also, the um, homogeneity one actions also induce isoparametric functions. Um, there is a, also okay this uh, this uh, this result about uh, which is a kind of uh, converse because uh, all the isoparametric functions are more spot function, but. Uh, so Kian and Tan, they prove that uh, if we have uh, in a closed uh, manifold, you have um, uh, a function, a more spot function, such that the critical, uh, the critical set of the function have a dimension are connected and have dimension at least uh, two, then they are going to exist a Romanian metric in the uh, Romanian metric in the manifold, such that F is an isoparametric function of the Armenian, uh, of this, uh, of the Armenian manifold. Okay. Okay, so um, 
So as we mentioned at the beginning, uh, what, uh, what we want to discuss is given an isoparametric uh, function, no? this induces a, a family of foliation, an isoparametric foliation, so induce a family of isoparametric hypersurfaces. So given take one of the isoparametric hypersurfaces, so the question is, if, the, the, if does there exists a, a solution of the Yamaha equation that is constant along this uh, hypersurface. So first we are going to discuss for the positive case and we are going to uh, to say something, some result about uh, the nodal, uh, about nodal solutions. But first we are going to discuss this problem in the, in the product, in the Riemannian products, in special when uh, the, in, in the product of the spheres, so if we have an isoparametric hypersurfaces of, uh, of the n-dimensional spheres, we're going to see that there exists solution of the, for some parameter t of this uh, Riemannian product with, uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, with the k-dimensional sphere or with, uh, with a Riemannian manifold of constant scalar curvature, such that this, uh, this solution is constant along the level set of these hypersurfaces, okay? So, uh, so let's uh, write down which is the Yamaha equation for the product of the spheres for n-dimensional and k-dimensional. N and k is going to be bigger than two, then we are going to say something about this, uh, the, the cylinders. But um, in that case, the Yamaha equation, no? Here we consider the metric such that the second sphere, we can scale the second sphere by a factor t. So the, the, the Yamaha equation in that situation is uh, this one, no? after a normalization. Here the, the, the parameter is the, the scalar curvature over the dimensional constant. So uh, because this normalization, we know that uh, the u equal to one is going to be uh, the trivial solution, the positive trivial solution. So we, we, we are going to see if there are more solutions than the trivial one, okay? So for some choice of the factor t, the u equal to one is going to be the, 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 the one because if we choose uh, exactly the, the factor such that this uh, metric is Einstein, so uh, the, the, the probe metrics is going to be the, the only one solution. But, uh, but okay, so, but um, to see this, we are going to see what happened uh, with, uh, when the metric, when the solution depends only on one of the sphere, the first of the second. So let's, uh, let's take the, the, the first one, okay? So in that situation, a solution of the MI equation that depends only on the first sphere, the first sphere uh, is of this form, okay? That uh, notice here that uh, the, the power, the exponent here, it's uh, it is one, no? But is uh, but this is a critical one. So this equation is a subcritical equation of the Yamaha equation. It's a subcritical Yamaha equation. No, Bido um, and Verón and Verón prove that uh, the, the only if lambda, if the parameter lambda is uh, small, uh, the the only the only positive solution is going to be the trivial one. No. The, the solution uh, equal to the, the equal to one. So, so that implies that if we uh, if we uh, stretch, you know, the, the the second sphere that is bigger, then uh, the only solutions of the equation that depends only on the first sphere is going to be the trivial one. No. So the question is, what happens when we shrink the 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 second sphere? Okay, the answer is that uh, we are going to have solutions. So this was proved by uh, Xin, Li, and Shu. Uh, actually, we are going to have radial solutions of this, uh, th that's a critical Yamaha equation, which implies that uh, we are going to have solution of the Yamaha equation, uh, that we're going to have solution of the Yamaha equation that depends only on the first spheres. And these uh, solutions are going to be radial, no? And the one but found by Xin, Li, and Shu. Um, of course, they are constant along, uh, uh, along the level set of an isoparametric function of degree one in the sphere, the high, the high function, okay? So the 
the, um, we are going to have more solutions, non-radial solutions too. So that is um, the following result. So if um, if we don't know which lambda r and the, the r eigenvalue of the Laplacian, then uh, we have this. This is some sort of showing with uh, Petain, uh, Jimmy Petain from Guanajuato. Um, the if f is an isoparametric function of degree uh, degree l, no, in the n-dimensional sphere, then if the parameter uh, lambda t belongs to this interval, no, then there are going to exist at least e positive solutions of the Yamabe equation, no, of this Yamabe equation that are constant along the level set of f. So that means that. Uh, in the conformal class, they are going to exist at least i metrics with constant scalar curvature, different metrics, non-isometric metrics of constant scalar curvature, such that the conformal factor are constant along the level set of f. No, that is when n and k is bigger than, than two. Okay, that's uh, so. What it means is we denote with n with n t the the number of different metric. Uh, with constant scalar curvature in the conformal class, then we see that the, the number of these metrics is going to increase, no, going to go to infinity when we, we shrink the second sphere. No? That also and also that metric that we found are going to depend only, the conformal factor is going to depend only in the on the first sphere. So when we stretch, the, the only solution that we're going to have is uh, the solution equal to one. That the metric that depend only uh, the conformal factor depend only on the third sphere. Of course, we're going to have uh, other solutions. Okay, so okay, so um, let me. So the, the solutions that appear here, we're, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, give an, a sketch of the proof of this of this uh, existence uh, of this multiplicity on salt. And the solution that the, the theorem provide, no, well, um, okay, the proof use uh, bifurcation theory, and the solution that the theory provide uh, are, uh, appear as uh, in the branch emanating from the trivial solution. Uh, so let's um, some call some things about uh, some definition about the bifurcation theory. So if uh, X is a neighborhood of uh, some Banach space, and we have a, a, a smooth map uh, between uh, for uh, from the uh, this neighborhood time some uh, space of parameters uh, such that the, the 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 axis of the parameters belong to the zero set of the of the Banach, of the map. Then we say that the point. Uh, Zero mu is, is going to be a bifurcation point if every neighborhood of it contains a no trivial zero. So that uh, we have for every neighborhood no trivial zero. So we are going to have uh, a set of no trivial zeros. No trivial zeros mean that that not belong to the to the to the mu a six to the parameter a six. So they they going to uh, meet the axis at that point, no? the trivial the bifurcation point. So this is this is the branch the branch. Okay. So what in in our situation, no, for the for the Yamaha equation, so we can consider this uh for this uh, subcritical Yamaha equation, we can uh, consider the this map, no? So where here uh, B is uh, mu minus one. Uh, and so uh, it's easy to see that uh, B, uh, B lambda is going to be a zero of this map F if and only if uh, U is a solution of the MI equation with parameter lambda. Okay. So uh, for a point, if a point is a bifurcation point, so of course, zero lambda node is going to be a bifurcation point, then they have to be something uh, different from zero in the, in the kernel of the linearization of this, uh, of this. Uh, this uh, map at the at the point zero zero lambda zero lambda not no 
that means that uh, here that uh, lambda uh, q minus one have to be an eigenvalue of the Laplacian restricted to the the, the space of function that are constant along the level set of f. Okay, but uh, this operator, of course, the, the spectrum of this operator is a uh, is a um, is a subsequence of the spectrum of the Laplacian. No, uh, it's also it's a sequence of simple eigenvalues. No, where in the case of the, the of the um, in the particular case of the fear, we can compute explicitly. So there are this this one. This is a spectrum, um, and the uh, the associated eigen function are um, are the, the, the composition of f with some polynomial, uh, uh, many polynomial of degree uh, such that they have uh, i simple nodes or i minus one uh, peaks. Okay. Okay, so we can use uh, that uh, uh, and use a uh, local bifurcation uh, theory to prove that actually these are uh, these are the bifurcation points of the of the map F, and actually uh, we can see that uh, these points are all the bifurcation point of of the map. So we are going to have this here, the branch, you no, know, of no trivial solutions. So one one thing that we note is that this the branch cannot approximate to sets to the parameter zero level set because we know that when he is close to the to the zero set when the parameter is small the only the only solution is a trivial one no uh, okay but uh, to 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 know how the the branch the behavior of the branches we have to perform some uh, uh, global bifurcation theory. So we can mm, write the, the, the map uh, H, this map H, you no, know, where T is uh, this compact operator and she is this 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 operator. You no, know. here mu is uh, have this form. So what what uh, can be seen that uh, this. Uh, the point B mu is going to be a zero of the of, of, of the map H, if and only if the corresponding U is a solution of the Yama equation of the critical Yama equation with parameter lambda. Okay. The the advantage of this uh, consider this map is that the the the, the bifurcation point of this map are characterized by the Krasnodarsky theorem. So we know that the bifurcation point of uh, a map of this kind. Is uh, are, are are those that satisfy that uh, this form that satisfy the one over mu is an eigenvalue of the operator t. So that in our in our case where in, means that u minus one have to be an eigenvalue of the Laplacian restricted to the to the space itself. Okay. So that's implied that uh, that okay. All the bifurcation points are this form of the map, of the map H. That is the bifurcation point that are going to be this uh, or this lambda, this parameter lambda. So we are going to have the branch here. Okay. Um, okay. So, but um, so so we. Now we know what are all the bifurcation points, and we know that we have branch, but uh, we don't know uh, how 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 are the branch the branches. Uh, here, for instance, we have three type of branches. Uh, the, uh, we are going to roll, roll out uh, this type of branch, these three type of branch. They cannot happen. Uh, for instance, this one is going to not happen. We are not have a, we are not going to have a compact non-compact branch. Bounded uniformly by the parameters, that is because by the supercritical equation we have a, a kind of compactness theorem. In, the, in, in this case, when the when the, the, the parameter is uh, is bounded, uh, so we are not going to have a, a, a branch of this type. But uh, let's see that we are not going to have this these two. So if we do not with CI, the the, the connected uh, component of the branch that. Uh, that contain the bifurcation point zero mu i, 
then uh, okay so then uh, we can um, so by vocation theory we can see that the point the, the the no trivial zero close to the trivial solution uh, can be parameterized in, in this form so there are essentially the 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 the, the, the principal terms are is uh, is a polynomial uh, is a poly the, the polynomial that we pi that we talked before uh, so that implies that the solutions close uh, to the to the trivial uh, to the trivial one cross the um, cross the, the trivial solutions at least e times no that's implied so on the other hand if we take another uh, solutions no trivial uh, no trivial solutions that belong to the to the branch ci then this uh, solution is is a composition of, of f with some bar phi and this bar phi satisfies this uh, second order ordinary uh, differential equation, you know, this one. Here, A, B are the, 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 the function that appear the, the, as a the, the isoparametric function um, that induces isoparametric hypersurfaces. So, uh, this, the, 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 the set of functions that cross the trivial solution E times is going to be open and closed in, in CI. So, by a connected argument, this, uh, this implies that all the solutions in the in in the branch CI cross the trivial solutions at least e times, no? or has i minus one picks. So this implies that the 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 the, um, the branch CI uh, only contain um, only contain uh, one bifurcation point, uh, and are dis disjoint. So so. That's that that would say that okay we have disjoint uh, branches contain only one bifurcation point but the, also that it's going to imply that the the uh, the branches will not be compact no also we have that uh, uh, they will not be compact that is the consequence of final theorem because we have only one bifurcation point and the uh, the multiplicity of this bifurcation point as uh, an eigenvalue of the operator t that I mentioned before, it's uh, is one. So and we have only one of this kind in each branch. So the, the, that's implied that the the, um, the branch is going to be uh, a, a non compact And so and also they cannot uh, uh, be bounded uniformly by the parameter. So we are in this situation. So if we choose a parameter here. We are going to have at least two solutions. If we have the parameter here between in this interval, we are going to have three solutions, four solutions, and so on. Okay, so that's the that's the multiplicity on salt that uh, that the, the theorem that of the theorem. Uh, but uh, mm, okay, but notice that we can. This is for only one isoparametric function. We can do the same for different isoparametric functions, so we can uh, we can obtain uh, a better uh, a better you, um, a lower bound for the different constant scalar cubic in the conformal class than i. No, uh, for this, let me I call you something about the isoparametric functions in the sphere. So, in the in the case of the sphere, there are a kind of normalization. So, um, any isoparametric function of degree L, the, the level set is going to agree with the level set of an homogeneous polynomial of degree L. This is a result of Musner from the 80s, such that uh, this, uh, this homogeneous uh, polynomial satisfy this both equation, no? where, okay. And also he proved that the degrees could be only one, two, three, four, and six, okay? This is see the difference between the the, uh, the multiplicity of the principal curvature, because we know that in that case, uh, the, 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 the principal curvature of the isoparametric hypersurface is going to be constant. So, so uh, in the in the in the spheres, all the isoparametric hypersurfaces are algebraic varieties. You know? So, we know that when well, we mentioned that in the sphere we have degree one, which are these are the isoparametric hypersurface. 
Degree two, the product of the spheres, okay? Uh, degree three, we are going to have isoparametric hyperspheres degree three, that, but there the multiplicity, the allowable multiplicity are one, two, four, and eight, no? And they are, they are going to be two uh, uh, over embedding of the projective plane. Um, and degree six, the allowable multiplicity are going to be one and two, so we, are, we have, we are going to have in S7 and S13. So these all isoparametric family are homogeneous. So the, but the, the first no homogeneous, the, the no homogeneous families appear in degree four, no? Uh, they are, uh, the, there was a OTFKM family, the Osegita Keuchu Ferus Kercher Mutner family, where the, the, this family contain uh, homogeneous examples. Uh, also, they contain some homogeneous, two homogeneous examples, two homogeneous families. And also, there are also two homogeneous families, uh, two more homogeneous families of uh, multiplicity 2, 2, and 4, 5. No? But now, uh, as, as far as I know, the, the, um, the, um, the classification of all these parametric hyperspace was finished with the, with the classification of, uh, of isoparametric of degree 4, uh, recently by a paper of Chi, at the uh, Um Okay, so we can use this uh, classification to, uh, we can use this classification to, uh, to obtain a lower bound for the metric, for the, for the, for the number of metric in the conformal class with, uh, with constant scalar curvature. In, in particular, that one that, uh, that depend on the first spheres. Uh, so here, for instance, the, the, the integral part of uh, I over two uh, correspond amount to the, the, to the, to the number of metric uh, in the conformal class that are induced by the isoparametric function of degree two, no? And this is the, the family of the degree three, six, and four. Okay, so we have these uh, lower bounds for the the numbers okay so so that's the sphere but when one of the sphere have a dimension one that is uh, the case of this the, the cylinder that that is uh, well understood from the the from from i mean from the final of the 80s um, by shane uh, he proved but here the, the positive solution depend only on the on the on the cycle uh, uh, um, he proved that, that there exists um, a tree holds t, t, t not such that if t is less than this, then u equal to one is only going to be the only solution, but the only the only positive solution. But when t is belong to this interval, then we are going to have k inequivalent uh, solutions, no? the family of uh, S one solutions. Okay. Yeah, and in particular, he, uh, the, the probe metric don does not minimize the, the Yamaha function, no, uh, for T big. Okay, so, um, wait, I think I have, okay, so only only two minutes. Uh, I go, I'm going to, to, I'm going to, to finish. I'm going to, um, to say something about uh, nodal solutions, no? Uh, uh, okay, what what I said can be generalized, but uh, no, we talk about positive solution and product sphere, but it can be generalized to product of, uh, isoparametric in, in general product, uh, Imanian product. Uh, but so this is a uh, game for nodal solutions. Again, if we have an isoparametric function of some Imanian manifold, such that the the um, the, the scalar curvature is constant along the level set of F. That so um, in that case, uh, uh, the scalar curvature does not have to be uh, um, a constant, but have to be constant along the level set of F. So, if, for instance, if we uh, let uh, so let K, uh, you know that the, the the minimum of the dimension of the connected component of the of the of the level set of F, no. So 
if we assume that this uh, the, 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 the minimum of the, of the dimension of the kinetic component is at least uh, uh, one, then in that situation, we are going to have positive, uh, a nodal solution, also a positive two, uh, would be the trivial one, but uh, we are going to have the nodal solution of the Yamaha equation. No? Uh, that are, of course, constant along the level set of the isoparametric function. Okay, that's that. Uh, that is because uh, the solutions that appear here are uh, um, low energy solutions that the theorem provide, and they appear that, that, that they minimize the the second Yamabe constant uh, over you know the, the function that depend uh, that are constant along the level set of the no. So and, and this is because in this situation we can uh, we have uh, we can improve the the the, the sublet impedance theorem, okay? So a consequence of this, for instance, is we have uh, uh, existence of nodal solutions given isoparametric function in products, like in the case of the spheres, uh, okay? Um, I don't know, okay? I run out of time. But okay, let me say that uh, okay, this is when the in the case when the dimensions are um, uh, when the dimensions uh, could be we have a minimal orbits with uh, with the dimension zero, then uh, there there are also assault. Uh, for instance, we are in some situation for homogeneous uh, isoparametrics, we can. Uh, we, uh, we are going to have nodal solutions. This is a uh, result we're showing with Madani uh, uh, from Magensburg. Um, okay, uh, um, let me finish with this uh, multiplicity result th that is uh, for nodal solutions, which generalize in, in some sense the, 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 the result of Dean, the, the family of, uh, of, the, of the nodal solution that Dean found and that I mentioned before. So. If you have uh, an isoparameter, this result uh, two is due to Pet Fernandez and Petean, they uh, this year. So if you have uh, an isoparametric function of degree different of one, of course, because we, we know that there are no high, uh, not an higher solution in the spheres. So given any integer, there are going to exist as a nodal solution of the Yamaha equation that are constant along the level set of F and have ex exactly K nodal components. No, the nodal sets are uh, are unions or isopar are going to be union of isoparametric hypersurfaces, and the energy of these uh, of these solutions, of course, uh, increase with uh, with K. No, the, the, they are high energy solution. Um, okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for for your attention. All right. Uh, so yes, the clapping on a Google Meet still has to be improved. Um, uh, but uh, thank you, uh, Guillermo, for a very interesting uh, talk on geometric analysis. We now have some time for, for questions. If people would like to either ask the question right away or raise their hands by saying something on the chat. Paolo, please go ahead. I have my microphone on. Is that okay? Yeah. You do. Hi, Guillermo and Paolo Piccione. How are you doing? Ah, fine. And you? Thank you. Uh, fine. Thanks. Um, I've seen the same talk uh, you gave in Princeton last week. Yeah. Yes, um, I have one question for you, which is um, like this. I understand that um, this method of uh, using global bifurcation works because basically you have an ODE, right? That yeah. um, uh, takes care. So you can distinguish branches using zeros of the solutions. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's uh, yes. That's uh, the philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there any way to extend this to um, 
PDEs by looking at nodal domains in some sense. Um, yeah. I would be very interested to uh, understand how this works. Um, can you count number of uh, nodal domains uh, for solutions uh, in a in a in a bifurcating branch? Um, in, in not 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 in general. Uh, I I don't know if if uh, if I can. This of course is a. It's a, a very, but not in general. In, in this case, yes, because uh, he, uh, the the point is you can't control this because he, he, as you say, uh, at, at, at the end you, you transform the, the PDE problem in an ODE problem. So uh, so the but uh, I, I I don't know uh, that that could be very interesting. Someone could be do that, but I don't know if. Uh, uh, we can counter the, the nodal sets. Um, okay, one more question, if you allow me. Yeah, I, I understand it's probably a difficult question. Um, yeah, yeah. How about, um, uh, do you have any compactness result for uh, solutions coming from uh, isoparametric functions if you bound the energy? Um, mm. Mm, no, I don't. I I, I don't have a, a, a compactness uh, result, but uh, I think that the, 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 the I, I don't think about the, the compactness result in that situation. But I think that uh, the set uh, uh, had to be compact. But uh, I don't have a, a, a proof of that. Uh, of course, no, if, if, of, of course. If you don't, if you don't, if if you don't bound the energy, you are going yeah. to have infinite solution. But uh, but uh, but for, I, I think that for the fears, as uh, it's going to be compact. Also, uh, because oh. you have a lot of, uh, but you you don't have a lot of. Uh, um, F families of, uh, of of isoparametric algebra mm -hmm. you have plenty but not and but does the energy but, increase along yeah. along a a bifurcating branch does it go to infinity along a, a given bifurcating branch um, mm, I, I think that can, that can be controlled because um, okay in in each branch you have um, so the nodal, the nodal energy increase, uh, the, the, the energy of the nodal solution increase with uh, with the number of nodal sets. That that is uh, because, um, but in in in. But in a bifurcating branch, you have a yeah. fixed nodal set. Uh, well, I mean you. Yeah, but you uh, have number of uh, nodal components, right? Yeah, but. Uh, Okay. Yes, they have. The, 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 in, in each branch, it's no, the energy is not bounded. Okay. okay. But uh, of course, but uh, but if you uh, if you put a bounded in the energy I, I, there, I, I don't know. Maybe I think that I think that is going to be compact. But uh, thank you very much. It was a very nice talk. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Paolo. Uh, do we have any more questions for Guillermo? Questions? I'll give you one, give you two. Well, if there are no more questions, can we try uh, uh, clapping once more and thanking Guillermo for this very nice talk? Okay. Thank you very much. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, uh, just a, just a very last minute announcement. So, uh, please, if you're not if you haven't signed up our mailing list yet, uh, please send the message according to the instructions on the chat. So to geodiff at unicamp.br, mentioning when.